this is question 9. So nice easy start for part A. We've got to find the um, we've got to find the midpoint to show that the center um, because this is a diameter so that the center is the midpoint of these points these two coordinates. How do you find a midpoint? Average the x coordinates, average the y coordinates, giving us three six, which is what we're asked to show. So part B, find an equation for the circle. So what we need for that, we need to know the center of the circle, which we have, and we need to know the radius. So to work out the length of the radius, we first of all have to work out the length of the diameter. So basically work out the length from this point to this point. So do a quick sketch to help you. We want to work out this length. We can do this by Pythagoras. The, um, the base of the, the rectangle is goes from minus 2 to 8, which is 10. The height is going from 1 to 11, which is 10. So just following Pythagoras, we have the diameter squared equals 10 squared plus 10 squared, which is 200. So the diameter is the um, square root of 200, which is 10 root 10. So the radius is half of this, which is 5 root 2. So, um, formula for a circle is, is basically, if you remember, is x minus x1 plus y minus y1, equal, uh, both of these squared, equals the radius squared, with this coordinate here being the centre. So the centre is 3, 6, so x minus 3 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared equals the radius squared. Uh, 5 root 2 times 5 root 2 is 25 times 2, which is 50. So our final uh, equation for the circle is this. Now for part C we've just got to show that this point lies on the circle, so just basically plug this into the equation of a circle and check that you get 50, which we do. Now for part D we've got to find an equation of the tangent at this point which um, on the circle. Uh, giving it in this format. So again, I think a quick sketch help us gather our thoughts. So here's the center, here's the point we're talking about. Now the gradient of the radius we can work out just again by just dropping down and across perpendiculars to get a right angle triangle. So the gradient of the radius is y step over x step is 1 over 7. Now remember the angle between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. That's one of the circle theories from GCSE. So how do we flip between the gradient for a perpendicular uh, between um, a radius or, or a tangent and normal? We basically flip it over change the sign. So the gradient of our tangent is minus 7. So we now know a point on the a point on the tangent, which is 10, 7. We know the gradient, so we can use this classic C1 formula for equation of a line, plugging in our point on the line and plugging in the gradient, rearranging to get it in the format of y equals mx plus c, and we get this as a final answer.